Hello friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and I embroider stuff. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to embroider this rose onto this tee. But first, let's talk about some supplies and then we'll set up our hoop. First, let's talk about the black t-shirt I'm using. When it comes to embroidering on clothing, I always suggest to stay away from any fabrics that are stretchy or knit. For that reason, today I'm using a t-shirt that is 100% cotton and heavy cotton at that. Next, I've cut down a piece of stabilizer to use behind my fabric. Stabilizer is one of my absolute favorite embroidery supplies. It's like a super, super thin paper. This stuff is made to support the fabric and hold our stitches in place. And you know, this is the first trick I would suggest to step up the quality of your embroidery projects right now. I use it every time I embroider, clothing or not. It also comes in various styles. I use tear away, but there are also wash away and cut away and probably tons more. And now I've slipped the back piece of my embroidery hoop into the shirt. So I've got the back hoop, stabilizer, and t-shirt. And I'm just going to loosen the top hoop and press down right over the fabric, stabilizer, and smaller back hoop. As I'm pressing, I'm correcting the hoop's positioning. And then I tighten the hoop and fabric. For today's project, I'm going to embroider this cashmere rose design from my Stick and Stitch Tattoo Rose Pack. I created this pack of nine rose designs to stick to any fabric and start embroidering right away. No pattern needed. You can just get creative and sew in each design with any thread color you like. Kind of like a coloring book. So I've picked out a quick palette, a needle, and some small scissors. And I'm gonna start stitching. If you'd like to watch me embroider this rose, I have a full time-lapse video available in the card above or in the description below. Okay, so here you can see we finished our rose design. Now we're gonna remove our hoop, flip the t-shirt inside out, and tear away the stabilizer. The stabilizer is basically perforated on the edges because of all the stitches we've done, so it tears right off. Under running water, the sticky paper will just dissolve right off of your fabric. Look how simple. I do lightly scratch the edges of my embroidery to make sure I get all that extra adhesive off of the design. So I'm going to lay this out flat to dry and I'll see you in a bit. Great, so our pattern transfer is all rinsed off and our t-shirt has dried. Now for the final step, and really the best trick to protecting your embroidery stitches when you're embellishing clothing. I'm going to use fusible web to cover the back of my work with fabric and protect the stitches from snags during wear and in the wash. Fusible web is material that will permanently bond two fabrics together. Today I'm using double stick fusible web, so each side has adhesive. This creates a temporary bond which becomes permanent when ironed. I should be using black fabric, but just so you can see it, I'm going to fuse this blue fabric over my embroidery stitches to protect them. And I've cut out smaller pieces of both the web and fabric here, which will fit just over my work area. And now we fuse. First, I'm peeling off one of the paper backs to the fusible web. Then I'm gonna line this over my stitches, making sure to get all my thread, floss, knots, and ends under the web. Then I'm gonna peel off the second paper, exposing the adhesive, where I can align my fabric right on top. Here, we have a temporary bond. And to make it permanent and washable and wearable, we're gonna iron it. Now we have fabric permanently protecting and covering the back work of our embroidery piece. Pretty awesome, right? And there you have it, a beautiful rose on a black tee. If you like this design, you can get your own pack in my Etsy shop, link in the description box below, as well as a list of all the supplies I've used in this tutorial today. So listen, I wanted to thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can follow along for more embroidery tutorials. See you soon.